All right, welcome to Fortnite Battle Royale Chapter 4 Season 1. There is so much loaded into this season and this chapter. I can't wait to explain this all to you guys. It's a lot to take in. There's a lot of changes, some significant changes at that. But first and foremost, admire that beautiful backdrop on this screen right here. Absolutely perfect. Of course, we got a brand new battle pass. I did a full reaction video with my son Jack for that. Check that out if you want. But let's talk about the gameplay elements that changed in Season 1 here of Chapter 4. So here's what the blog post says. In the fourth chapter of Fortnite's Battle Royale, go forth in a new realm and get around in new ways. Ride a dirt bike, roll in a snowball, launch yourself with the shockwave hammer, and hurdle over obstacles. Power yourself up with reality augments and claim territory for your squad, leaving behind banners to declare what's yours. And of course, venture with newly forged weapons. So the next part of the blog shows the brand new POIs. It says the new island, your domain, but also your enemies. After the events of Chapter 3's finale, a new island has formed. Here are just some of the sites you'll encounter in this realm. So first it says the Citadel. It says this point of interest is the castle ruled by the Ageless. So this is kind of like the medieval zone. It's a nice castle. Then we've got Anvil Square. This one looks a lot like Misty Meadows, in my opinion. It says Anvil Square is a peaceful looking town in the heart of a forest. Emphasis on peaceful looking. Interesting. It looks beautiful, though. Like the color scheme there. Then we got Brutal Bastion. This headquarters of the Reality Warriors is located among the snowy mountains. Speaking of snow, hit snow with your pickaxe to create a snowball. Jump inside the snowball, then get rolling. You can attack enemies this way too. That's pretty cool. Then we got Frenzy Fields, finally a farm. It says, considering this farm is abandoned, what makes it frenetic are the battles that happen here. Love a farm POI, I'll take that. Then it says, wait, what's that rock? If you venture to the Shattered Slabs mining facility, you'll notice Kinetic Ore. Pull off physics sorcery with Kinetic Ore to strategically attack your opponents. So I think if you hit these, it functions like hop rocks, maybe? I don't know, I'd have to see. Then it says, steer your dirt bike steed. One of the many ways to get to these places, the trusty two-wheeled trail thrasher. Perform tricks on this dirt bike and use weapons as you ride. Now, of course, we saw the Hulk riding one of these in the trailer. It says, look out for the Hulk smashing his way into the item shop soon. That'll probably be out real soon. Now, the next part is my favorite. It says, fortify yourself with reality augments. So augments are basically perks, just like in Call of Duty. It says, at intervals in your match, you'll be given a randomized choice of two reality augments. The longer you remain in the match, the more reality augments you'll collect. Reality augments last until the matches end. And then it shows a few of these perks. One of them is light fingers, which makes your weapons using light ammo reload faster. So SMGs, pistols, things like that. Another one is Mechanical Archer, gives you a Mechanical Explosive Bow and a Mechanical Shockwave Bow. Nice, I'll take the Shockwave Bow, that's one of the best. We've got the Aerialist, which grants you Glider Redeploy for the rest of the match. Are you kidding me? That is super overpowered. No fall damage for the rest of the match? Wow, incredible. Next one is Supercharged, your vehicles won't consume fuel and they'll have increased health. Wow, that's awesome as well. And lastly, soaring sprints. While sprinting, you'll be able to jump much higher and jump with lower gravity. So these are just some of them. There's a lot more than that, just some. And I saw the more you play, the more you unlock. Then it says, don't like your randomized options? Reroll them for another chance at your favorites or maybe one you've never chosen before. Mix and match reality augments and find your favorite combo to support your next victory royale. Next up, it says, go forth by hurtling forward. If you sprint at obstacles, you'll now hurdle over onto them. Use this slick maneuver in your pursuit of victory. Speaking of victory, let's talk about the brand new weapons. It says, venture with a fresh set of weapons on the island. You'll see returning ones too, but here's a rundown of what's new. The Excalibur rifle. This powerful semi-automatic rifle fires a ballistic blade at your enemies that detonates mere moments later. So it's kind of like the Boombo, but it shoots a blade. So you shoot a blade, it can do damage if you hit someone or if they're nearby where it sticks, it'll blow up. Next is the Thunder Shotgun, a pump action shotgun that deals high damage and shoots two rounds at a time. Just as Thunder tears through the sky, this shotgun tears through skirmishes and shotgun shells. 
Maven Auto Shotgun is next. An automatic, fast-firing shotgun with moderate damage and range. A true Maven, however, will know how to make the most of it. Then we got a brand new assault rifle called the Red Eye Assault Rifle. An automatic assault rifle with a custom red dot sight for improved accuracy. Made for a focused wielder, this assault rifle has a controlled fire rate. Then we got the Twin Mag SMG. Two are better than one. This automatic, fast-firing SMG has a double-sided magazine for an extra fast reload. That's awesome. Exactly what I want. Tactical Pistol says don't count this one out. This automatic powerful sidearm can lay down serious firepower from its small frame. Okay. Next up is the Shockwave Hammer. It says not only does this melee weapon deal damage to opponents, but it also launches them far away. You can also use it to launch yourself and teammates. Now I've heard this is super, super overpowered and that you can fly across the map quite literally. I'll have to test that out. But damage-wise, I also heard it's not that good. Then we got new provisions on the map. It says, the weapons above aren't the only new items. In addition to returning healing items, restore your health with new ones. We've got Slap Berries. This fruit is so refreshing, you won't want to stand still. Eat one for not only effective health, but also short-term unlimited energy regen to stay sprinting longer. Then we have Slap Juice. It says, thanks to the Slap Juice factory at Slappy Shores, there's Slap Juice. Slap Juice grants more effective health than a Slap Berry and also a longer temporary energy regen. So you basically have unlimited stamina when you use one of these. Next, it says, no healing items nearby. Seek Sky Jellies. If you see these jellyfish nearby, fear not. They want to help you. If you come in contact with these floating creatures, you'll experience a bounce effect and have some effective health restored. Nice. Ooh, look at this. Shoot for the spoils. Speaking of things in the air, certain points of interest, POIs, at random, will be dubbed hot spots at the beginning of the match. Remember that? From what, season 10, I think? Look for the POIs with gold text on your map. These POIs are filled with flying drones holding high rarity weapons. Shoot down as many drones as you can and revel in your fortune. Now this next part is huge. It says claim your territory. Conquer with your squad, stay in a POI's capture point long enough, and your team's banners will be put on display, marking your team's control of the POI. In a POI your squad's claimed, chests and opponents will be marked. Just watch out for anyone who tries to claim it first. So that's pretty cool. You claim the POI, and you can see all your opponents, maybe? Almost like a UAV? And you can see all the chests that are there? I really want to try this out. And then the last part talks about the full Unreal Engine 5. So if you play on next-gen consoles, such as PS5, Xbox Series S or X, or a souped-up PC, you're gonna see some incredible graphics. I can't wait to play this on my PS5. I'm on the PS4 right now, but only next-gen and good PCs will be able to see the brand new stuff. From what I've heard, things look beautiful, absolutely amazing. So there you go, that about covers everything. New items, new map, new weapons, and my favorite thing, the perk system. That is so cool. So there you go. Obviously the brand new map, can't wait to unlock everything. What an amazing chapter so far. I'm hearing that it feels fresh, it feels amazing, and I'm sure there's more changes to find, but these are the highlights right now. Compliments of the official blog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And please don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which by the way, is Tabor Time.